Um, okay, again, I'm Chloe. Don't really make no me. I the ICC who helped the computer problem. <laughs> and some of you might know me as the only girl who runs through the hall because she's late for class. Which is pretty often. Oh, and I'm also deaf. Isn't it often obvious? I thought it was. Anyways, I grew up in a very small town. Um, there's only one middle school, one high school. And that means everyone knows each other and we pretty much grew up together. So you would think with that kind of background, everyone would know that I'm deaf, right? So, because I'm deaf, every day I brought a microphone to school. And this microphone, I gave it to each of my teachers. And I needed this because without it, I couldn't understand my teachers. Um, whatever the teacher said, it would just go right over my head and it would be all garbled and I wouldn't learn anything. So the microphone is very important to me. But my darkest secret is that I actually hate the microphone, no matter how much it, how much good it does for me. I and I still hate the microphone. I still use it and I still hate it. It has horrible sound quality. It has kind of inducing feedback, and sometimes the microphone is so ridiculously sensitive that I picked up the close the sound of closed restroom instead of the teacher's voice. I kind of think that's a big problem. But I think the worst thing about the microphone for me is that I was the only one who used it, and no one else used it. I was the only deaf person in my school who had a microphone. I was the only deaf person, period. Um, so anyways, there was this boy in class who was a year younger than me, and we were in the same orchestra class. Um, he was a violinist, I was a cellist, and our music teacher was a conductor, so he would be on this side, I would be on that side. Every day, I would go up to my conductor and give him a microphone. No surprise, that's not unusual. And then, my senior year, I decided not to take orchestra, so I took eight calculus instead. And Pi also, I'm going to call the boy Pi, Pi also took AP Calc, and every day I would give the microphone to my AP Calc teacher. And no surprises again. So anyways, one day we had a group project in AP Calc class. Um, it was me, Pi, and one other person. I took the microphone from my teacher, put it in the center of all three of us so I could pick up all of our voices, and then Pi looked at me and asked, what is this for? For three years. What? For <laughs> <laughs> three years. <laughs> every day. Every day I went up to the front of the class. I gave the microphone to the teacher. And every day he had no idea. <laughs> so I gave the microphone to the teacher. <laughs> so, yeah, I thought, I really thought that it was obvious. I thought that the microphone meant that I was deaf. I thought that deafness was obvious. I thought that one look at me or one listen to my voice and everyone would know that I'm deaf. Then I thought, maybe it's not obvious. Maybe, maybe it doesn't, it's not obvious even the person who knows me for a long time. I have to tell them that I, it's there. Um, so what did I tell them? What did I tell him? How did I tell him something that I thought he knew for three years? So I couldn't maybe make something up. Maybe I don't want to say, oh, I'm a deaf person. I don't want to out myself like that. I could say something like, oh, yeah, this microphone is a recorder. I use it to record the teacher's voice and then go home, listen to the teacher's notes again so I can pick notes and be an overachiever in any class. <laughs> but, I mean, it works. But, um, no, instead I told him the truth. Because while I absolutely hate the microphone, and that microphone is a byproduct of the deafness, I don't really mind being deaf. It's normal for me. And I'm not even going so far as to say I like being deaf. Sure, it has drawbacks. I can't hear like a bird whistle without hearing aids. And I have to ask people to repeat themselves a lot. <laughs> Um, but it's totally normal to me. And there's some benefits to being deaf too. Like, my favorite one is that if I'm, in, if I'm stuck in a boring conversation, 
I can just like duck behind you here. <laughs> 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 Another cool, like a world out there for like a deaf community called Deaf World, and being deaf gives me like a window into that world. And it's a cool place because it has to hold on language, on culture. Anyways, so that's what I told Ty. I told him that I was deaf and needed a microphone in order to hear. And now he knows that I'm deaf, and I know that that is not obvious. So yeah, I'm just helping people. And maybe that's why I didn't really verbally talk, so I could tell people that I'm deaf. <laughs>